Markham and Torsha, GF from Markham 3. That was semi weird, but let's go with it. So, let's just go back a little bit. All that um, hair particles that I was doing with um, the hair tool is no good. Now, the problem is, is because the facial hair um, doesn't have any shape keys attached to it. So at the moment I had now have to manually go through and use the hair tool, not the hair tool, the inbuilt hair plugin, inbuilt hair plugin. What are you talking about? The, 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 the hair that, that, that comes with blender, the normal stuff, the basic stuff, not the basics, pretty stinking complicated. Um, but that's what we will be doing. Let me just open up restream chat so I can see what everyone is saying. And I've got a wonderful email about five, 10 minutes before going live, I now have lines from Mr. Huber. Look how much I'm shaking. <laughs> so, but let's carry on. Let's start grooming this hair. Um, so at the moment, now with all the vertex groups, I mean, with all the shape keys here, will be attached to the face. So if I come down into, for instance, hmm, trying to find a pucker or maybe like this one, we can see that all the hair is now going to be moving, which is exactly what we want, which is. <clears throat> <laughs> ah, just so pumped. So let's go tab into tab into edit mode, edit mode not caps lock. Okay. So, so this part of the beard is long, but this is kind of shorter. And originally I had it kind of ending where the Mo was ending as well. But I think with this, I'm actually going to come down lower with the hair particles. So it actually um, fills in into the beard as well. So let's grab maybe this section in here. Um, grab this. Maybe not that. Let me just check. I just want to see where the actual lip is. So definitely we've got above the lip. What program are you using? I'm using Blender, which is my channel all about. Um, tutorials. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. <laughs> uh, please make sure you like and subscribe. So we've got, so I think that's a decent area for a Mo. Let's come into the particle settings and I'm gonna go back into object mode. I'm gonna delete the edit. I'm going to make these hairs really shorter. It doesn't need to be so long. So let's go maybe um, 0 0.005. And we can see that we don't have it coming all the way down. So let's head back into edit mode. I forgot to hit apply. We always need to hit apply when we're assigning vertices. So I think I might even grab, oh, let's go this section and see. So if we go into wireframe mode, we can actually Go through the mesh. I might grab that section and let's come down even further. I feel like I'm missing some vertices. Something like that. There we go. All right, there we go. Cool bananas. So now we've got this whole section. So if I go tab now into edit mode, back into edit mode, assign. And now we can see that that hair is coming all the way down. Now I think with the beard, mmm. So I think this bit here is wrong. I think it should be kind of... See, my beard is pretty good. So it goes all the way down, kind of all the way around, and it even goes into this area here. But if we come over into who we're referencing, so we're going to Isaac Butterfield. If we go into him, let's go into images. He very much has these massive gaps here. Yeah, so it's very much kind of like he's got like a very triangle line here and then kind of it comes around. So I'm just kind of trying to get as many reference photos here. So especially this photo here, we can see that it's a bit longer. And then, yeah, coming a little bit here. So not so much down directly. So let's go back into object mode. I think, I think we do have that covered because you can see that we've got it coming down and around and away. Go away, Chrome. Thank you very much. That's rather interesting. What have I done? So let me just quickly open up the YouTubes. Have I stuffed this up is the question. 
So let's go back. Shh, 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 shh. Silence. Uh, let me just quickly go edit video. I am still streaming. Da -da -da -da. It's public. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's go into go live. I'm just trying to work out what's going on. No, 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 no. Manage, manage. No, it's been a jerk. Forget it. All right, let's just carry on. Rush Board Technologies, welcome. So there we have it. That's not too bad. I think maybe what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to quickly do a groom. And so if we go into particle edit, um, let's make that strength, that radius of the brush a little bit bigger. Just leave it on 100%. All right, something like that. Um, let's fluff it up a little bit. So if I go into strength, let's make the radius a little bit smaller. I think I made it a bit too big. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna put that, get up over there. So let's go into object mode and just check. What does that look like? So that doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to go into the material settings. I've already created a beer material. Hmm. I reckon probably these whiskers here might be need to grow a little bit more. Um, we might even add some more children to it just to, you know, thicken that up. Uh, where are we? Children, 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 children. Interpolation. Let's bump this up. Yeah, I think it needs to be a bit longer. Luckily enough, we can go into particle edit and we can actually add length. Smooth add. No, that's the wrong one. Um, length is the one we want. So if we kind of, let's just give it a lot of strength. There we go. Lovely, look at that, it's much better. To me, that seems much better. Let's just go into the um, comb and I kind of want to, if I go in numpad five, lovely. Let's get right in there. And I kind of want to grab as much as I can and really part it along the, the cleft or whatever you want to call it. I think we had a discussion about this on Sunday. Ah, oh, dang it. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, that's why. Strength. Let's bump that back up to 100. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Um, did you use hair for the brows as well? So the bra... I might actually put some brows on there. I think that's a good idea. Um, or is it texture? Yeah, so that's a texture. Darken the skin. Yes, I will definitely be darkening the skin. Um, I've learned that from previous like trial and error. Come on, that over there, go. There we go, all right. Um, and yeah, I did create a hair texture for originally for the top here. Um, however, it didn't really work. Like, sorry, the, the hair on the top of the head worked out fine, um, but it's more, I need this for the beard. And I figure since I've got to do the beard, I might as well just do everything with hair particles. So from here, let's jump into object mode, check that out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Green cup and a green screen. Ole. Okay, so that's not too bad. And if we kind of come back into our reference photos, which I've already closed, which is very clever. The Mr. Buttsman. Let's come over here into the images. And see, I could probably actually make this beard even longer, which Let's jump over into the particle and we'll go beard just so I can see. And then from here we go into particle edit, lovely. And let's go length. Oh, that might have been a little bit too much. But if we go into object mode, just seeing, I reckon it could probably go a little bit further, but let's just say he's had a bit of a trim. So if I press play, let's go into that. Oops. And then just kind of see, can see that the hair kind of falls in the right spot. 
and that even has a little bit of a wiggle. Um, I probably made it a little bit too thick, but I'm not too concerned about that for now. Let's come over here and jump onto the head. Now, if you look at the reference photos, very much the top of the head here. So, and you can see that he's kind of got these bold patches coming up into here. So we've got here and the very high forehead, and then it even goes back further, especially this photo here where he was on the project. Australian project? I think it was the Australian project. So let's jump into back into another vertex group and then we'll call this um, head underscore top. So it's going to be the top of the head. And I'm actually probably going to start maybe all the way up here. Now I would use mirror selection. However, this model actually isn't mirrored. Um, so let's maybe go probably this high. I think that's pretty good. And then let's grab maybe this section in here. And unfortunately I'm not a hairdresser. <laughs> All right, cool beans. So top of the head, hit a sign. I always keep forgetting to hit a sign, but now we've hit the assign button. Let's come back into particles. I'm going to create a new particle system, hair. It's not gonna be four meters. I'm gonna make it about 0.1. I think that's pretty good. Um, material won't be skin head, it'll be beard. It's pretty much all the same color. Textures, density will be, um, what did I say, hair? Head? Head top, there we go. And so we can see it on the top. I think that's actually maybe a little bit too long. So let's maybe bring that down to maybe 0 0.75, 0 0.075. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna groom it first and then we'll work out backwards oops control z let's come into strength and yeah i think that's a little bit too long so let's delete that edit i can just go if i really want to i can go shrink but i might as well just start from the start um let's go into object mode and then change this to maybe 0.05 yeah question is, is this too low? So I think actually I've got it wrong. So I don't know how well you guys can see it. If I go into particle edit, we can see that it's here, but if we go to the image, we can actually see that it's a lot higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of delete that line there on vertices. So let's go tab into, into edit mode, um, into vertex groups. Let's go remove everything. And then I'm gonna see and middle mouse and kind of just clear everything. And then we'll hit assign. Now we can go into particle edit and we can start just kind of forming that around. There we go. And we can see that it's very much flat, but I can do over here is come into puff. There's a puff option here. And we can kind of puff that up. It's going to strengthen that. Oops, let's go add. There we go. Lovely, look at that. Um, let's groom this section over here a little bit. Won't make it so strong. Let's bring that over. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hi, Hadi. Some render. Face mode. Uh, what's your system? Uh, Ryzen 3900X with a GDX 980. Blender hair tool? No. So I was using the Blender hair tool. Um, well, technically I could still use the Blender hair tool, but I've had to use the beard with the normal hair tool that comes with Blender. And that's because if I use the hair tool, it doesn't apply the shape keys from the face. And so obviously if it's moving its mouth and doing all this, the beard will just stay where at the moment I've done the hair particles. And so it'll move with the the head. I know my face is probably really weird just doing that. All right, so let's go now into object mode and let's just kind of see what have we got. Whoops, we don't have squat. 
hand dynamics. Let's turn that on. Um, I got to remember, I'm just going to go backwards and forths. Mo, there's no hair dynamics. Beard, stiffness more 0.8. Whoops. Actually, let's go 0 0.7, dampening 0 0.7. Come down the materials, our beard, B spline, yes. And we'll put that to maybe five ish. I don't know what just. Oh! No, that's fine. Where the Hickabotham did my stuff go? It's right there still. Okay, object. Then we come down into children, Interpol, and let's go maybe 25. And it seems very much in the head, which is no good. Um, so let's puff that up. Why is it doing that? Let me just turn off Beast Blind. Because it seemed to have a hissy fit when I did that. So let's go back into object mode. Whoa. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sumo. Very much appreciated. What is going on with my hair? Um, what I might do is I might, oh, let's go delete edit. Tab, tab. There we go. All right, let's grab, oops, I added length there. Let's go back into, so we definitely got plenty of hair and we can see that it's clumping at the moment. Um, if we go source face, mm, no. Can we randomize that a little bit? We've randomized it a bit. We've definitely got that hairline, which is really good. I'm really chuffed with that. Uh, GPU is a GTX 980. Low poly cards from native hair particles. Yeah. Um, however, I'm finding it's, it would probably look weird if I've got hair cards on top. I know what you're saying. I was playing with that earlier. I might, I might come back and put in hair cards um, because I think that's in the rendered uh, render section, sh um, hair type strips or sh strand or strips. And I have got the strips in there. So if I go into maybe object mode, just quickly, let's go F12. Let's see what happens. Cause we are using Eevee. I'm going to use Eevee for this short film. Yeah. So definitely fix that up. Obviously the hair we're working on now. Um, when we're editing, I think I might try and round off that bit rather than just being square. Cause definitely, yeah, we'll round it off ever so slightly. We might make it grow just here, but anyway, let's go particle edit. Now let's do that. Let's go add. Can you remove is the next question. So if I just. Mm. Ah, let's go control Z. It's going to go kind of, um, let's make the radius of the brush a little bit bigger. Oh, Jesus, I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Crud. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Come on, Blender. Stay with me. Come on, you jerk. Don't you die on me now. Thank you very much, Amos. Come on. Come on, Blender. So anyway, what's going on, guys? <laughs> Fire out. Typical. Mm, mm. Okay, come on. Come on, Buttercup. I'm not gonna fluff around. Let's go into Isaac blend. Let's see if we can recover. Yes, completely agree. File. Recover. Auto save. Date modified today at, yes. Bam. <laughs> Excellent. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so let's go back into adding. Um, and let's maybe, mm, mm. Hey, what am I doing? Puff. No, it's a puff. No, 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 no. We want to add, 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 add. 
I don't want to interpolate. I think that might've been my downfall last time. There we go. So hopefully now that's given us a bit of a curve. Let's go into object mode. I think that's... Okay. I've got an idea. This is what we're going to do. Let's go particle edit. Um, let's go into this thing you evolve and we'll call this uh, top head. From here, I'm going to remove the top head. Let's go into object mode. I'm going to select this shift D to duplicate. So we should have body 01 and this will name CC underscore head underscore scalp. From here, I can remove these two and we can add uh, that. No. That one? Yeah, there we go. Um, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do Alt H to unhide everything. And then let's work on this. So let's go C. And this is gonna be the top of his head. Let's go delete vertices. And then from here, let's kind of grab all that. Delete vertices. And so now we've got the top of the scalp sitting there. Um, what I'm going to do now is select that. Control I to invert our selection, delete faces. <sighs> Did I want to do that? I don't want to do that. Let's do edge loop through here. All right, let's have a look. No, I haven't checked that out yet, Chris. I've come home, dinner, kids in bed, now it's stream time for a little bit, make another tutorial for tomorrow night, and then that, I'm checking it out. I've got it on my list of things to do. Uh, da -da -da, dude, complete configuration of your PC. Ryzen 3900X, GDX 980 graphics card, 30 gig of RAM, there, that's pretty much the important stuff. Uh, please see this link, Blendon Substance Paint and Painter. Blendon Substance Painter. Yes, the layer, paint layer add-on. All right, I've been starting to use B for Artists as Blender, main interface to... That's why I just jumped straight into Blender because you're going to get used to Blender for um, artists. And then when you come out of it looking for more features, you're going to be swamped. Uh, you'll see new multi-res modifier. I don't want to jump ship to Blender 2.8 just, 2.9 just yet. Okay, so now let's hit select. And then control I to invert our selection. And I'm going to get rid of... Control Z, C... C, delete faces, get rid of these two, delete vertices, and then what I'm gonna do is go GG, just say these both and go GG. Did I grab, hang on, nope, you two do not belong, and then I'm gonna press GG, GG. Did I miss, yes I did. Silly Marco. Any other vertices? Nope. Cool beans. I don't want beard coming out of nowhere. Um, let's go with these two and I'm going to go GG. No, go that way. Go back. Select these two and I'm going to go back. 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 And so now we're really curving that front. Might have to do this manually, GG. GG. How's that look? 
Yeah, so now we've definitely got that line in there, which is really good. So let's come back into our particle system. Don't need jump ship, just use it for certain things. Yeah. Um, eagerly wait to see your stubble on Kevin. On Kevin? Which one's Kevin? That I know Character Creator 3 is bringing out the, the stubble, which is going to be sick. I can't wait. Look at my link. I can't see your link. Um, let's come in. I want to show emitter. No, I don't want to see the emitter, especially so when we come into render view. We can't see the emitter. Oh, lovely job. Please look at that. That's not too bad. It's a little bit too harsh in there. Um, I'm sure there's going to be... There we go. Scalp. 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 What I'm trying to find is where it's emitting from to randomize where it's actually coming out of. It's got to be in the children, parting, clamping, clumping. Nope. So that'll make, so clumping will obviously clump shape. I'm not sure what that one does. Clump noise. Hmm. Put that one roughness. See, I'm just trying to clean that section up there. That's a bit yuck, but I can live with that. Random. There we go. Anyway, let's go with that. And let's go particle edit. Whoop. Ah, oh, you idiot. You muppet. Um, was I just doing all that? Oh, no. Okay, let's go with that. No, no, that's fine. All right. Cool beans. Let's just kind of... Yeah, to me, I'm fairly happy with that. Let's go into particle edit now. And control Z that one strength kind of go like that. And then we have the swept hair back. My strength's a little bit too much now. Let's kind of like refine those that. Yeah, like so. And then we're going to give it a little bit of a puff at the front. Is that puff tool? That's the puff tool. Uh, that's not too bad. We've got a little bit too much puff up the top. So let's bring that down. Let's now check that out. Let's jump over into the render view. Yeah, so definitely I need to darken the skin materials. Viva, welcome. We edit shading hair. Yeah, I, I probably will touch it. I'll have a look what it's like. Um, but I mean, that's something I can come past. Eevee or iClone native render, which is faster? Mm. Well, because I'm doing all my work in Eevee, my scenes in Eevee, all that jazz is in Eevee, I'm going to use Eevee. Um, obviously, if we jumped over into Cycles... You know, it looks completely different. I have to rework that a little bit. Um, and you've got the hair information node. Can you add Blender? Can you add the Blender add on X muscle system to yours? Well, it's a... Comes with rigs. So I'm probably going to say yes. You'd be able to. I don't have the muscle system. Um, but I'm going to assume so. Yes. I would like to know if you should use a different mesh for hair particles or just use weight paint. So at the moment, I've got a different mesh. Um, but the only reason why I used the different mesh was because I wanted to adjust the vertices without um, disrupting the head mesh. Um, weight paint mode, you can use it. I don't. What I would do is normally just assign 100% to the vertex group and then using the particle edits. You know, you can cut hairs, you can grow them or shrink them, you can do all that jazz, so. Your choice, pretty much. Let's come into this. I want to 
add, definitely probably add, oh, definitely want to add some more through there, especially around the edges. I might just add just a few more through here. I could have added more children. You idiot. Anyway, object mode. Yeah, so definitely now we're seeing less of the skin behind it. So let's now go into particle edit and we will have to regroom all this because we're really smart. All right. Cool beans. Let's just kind of grab all that. Whoops. Okay. And it's good luck at the moment. I'm not seeing too much lag on the computer at the moment. Uh, probably when animating, we might have a little bit of a kerfuffle. <laughs> uh, but we'll worry about that then. Okay, cool beans. And now what we do is we'll puff it up. Oop, add. There we go. So it's all nice and puffed up a little bit. I think I've puffed it up a bit too much there. So let's kind of maybe just grab that. Um, let's maybe lengthen the front hair. Yeah, something like that. That looks nice. And then from here, we'll bring that back down. Ah, control Z. Oh, fine. Don't control Z. Actually, that actually kind of worked out well. We've got a bit of a flat spot here. But if we go add, probably about there. Cool beans. So now let's go into object mode and see what we're looking at. Definitely needs to be brushed more that way. And I mean, this is just all part of the the, fi the fine tuning now of trying to get the hair looking right. I think I might, rather than having you guys just watching me do this, we'll probably move on to the um, side of the head as well. Now, just remember when you're animating, if you have to change something to the animations, um, make sure your armature is in the modifiers. So from here, I'm just going to go object. Cool. Let's leave it as that. It's a little bit rough as guts. I don't know what's with this square. That's slightly annoying, but we might come back to that one. Fisherman, welcome. Wild name. Roberto, welcome. Uh, I would like... Da -da 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 -da. Quick question. Why not just animate slash motion capture in iClone, then export? Um... Hang on, why not just animate and motion capture? So I've got the facial motion capture in, um, I, uh, yes, in iClone that I'll be taking out, but I won't be animating in iClone because I feel that I can do better in Blender, um, especially once I apply something like Rigify or Auto, P Auto Rig Pro, which has a lot more controls, and I can do IK and FK and all that. Um, and I'm just more comfortable animating in Blender. Hopefully soon, um, I will try and purchase a Perception Neuron motion capture suit. That'll be a different story. <laughs> it's all about Blender. Okay, so back to the side of the head. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab, let's go into side mode. We can see our hair, um, new vertex group, and we'll call this um, head underscore signed. And we might duplicate this as well. Uh, actually not probably that high, but I'll definitely be having short hair. Ooh. So we've got to come down into here-ish. Let's come all the way in. And we've got to have a look, where's our beard finish? So if we come into solid mode. Yeah, cool. So now we're going to intersect into our beard, which is exactly what we want. Um, did I go? Yep, cool beans. 
Let's click assign so we don't forget. Come into the particle edits. Uh, come up to the top, new particle setting. It's going to be hair. Skin will be beard. Thousand. Let's go 0 0.005. So it's really short hair along the sides. Um, interpolation. Let's just go 25 and 25. We'll probably have to bump that up a little bit later. Let's give it 50. Bump that up a little bit later. Uh, textures come down to textures and this will be hair head side now if we go into object mode whoops let's go into solid mode yes Ugh, that doesn't look good does it let's just go gg and gg ow ploppers i'm gonna fix that up that's fine. All right, let's come into that. Let me fix that up before we go any further. Um, let's grab, just gonna stuff all that up. Okay, and strength. Okay. How's that looking? Uh, let's go into object mode. Mm. That's not too bad. I think I gotta come in. I gotta fix this problem here. I don't know what that's about. Um, let's kind of, you know what I reckon? I reckon we should probably cut that. So let's go particles. Let's bring up the scissors. And all around like that. Object mode. Yeah, cool beans. Okay, so we come into here. Um, head side. What am I missing? Okay, let's just go. Ooh. Idiot. Okay, let's go like that and we will kind of draw the hair on like so. What's going on? Uh, which motion capture is good? Roco Facewear. I use iClone. I mean, these characters are from iClone, so I might as well use iClone, the whole re-illusion suite, because um, there's no point in kind of bouncing between even more software. Where can I see you plan to live stream in the future? So every Wednesday around this time and every Sunday around this time is when I live stream. Let's go into object mode. Oh, that's actually not too bad, but there's not enough children. Why is there not enough children? Let's, it's a big area. Let's bump up to a hundred. And then I'm just gonna press F12. Let's just have a look what happens. Mm, that is definitely a problem. We could, we're just gonna cut that. Mm, I gotta fix that hole somehow. But that's not too bad. I'm actually fairly happy with that. Let's kind of jump into here and we go into particle edit, cut. Ah, dang it. Why are you all the way up there then? That's weird. See, that's anyway, so let's go into particle edit and cut. And we go into back into object mode and we can see it, which is really annoying. This bit here, what do I do about this? Um, which has, which version, can I see your system specs? Oh, GDX 3900, no, sorry, 3900X Ryzen, GDX 980, 32 gig RAM. Uh, which motion face, which motion face is good and reality? So, character creator, 
I can grab character creator, put it into iClone, and straight away I can animate these characters straight off the bat. So that's the main reason why I use it and purchase it all. Yada yada yada. But why is this a problem in here? What the Higginbotham is this? Hmm. Mm, what shall I do about that line? I don't know. I think that's Future Marco's problem. But we seem to have that not too bad. You know what? I'm just going to go Control S. Let's just save it. Come into Particle Edit. I'm just going to quickly add some particles in here. Let's just have a look what that looks like in Object Mode. Oh, that face is still there. Um, I'm just going to quickly groom it. I'll get stuffed. Just groom. And then we go into object mode. Is it because I face particles per face 61 jitter amount distribution random? No, no, 3900X is what I've got. Australia, mate. All right. Yeah, I might have to redo that afterwards, but that to me, if I come into, let's just go into like that. I have to round out that corner there. So if I come into here and then we bring up this, I might actually do particle system on the eyebrows. Just why not? That beard needs to be fluffed out this way. This edge here. Oh, he's actually... See, now it depends which... Mm. So if we come into here and we go into particle system, let's add some more hair to the side. Hair dynamics. We don't need hair dynamics on the short hair. I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, let's go F12. I can't remember what I've seen now. But we de definitely have to redo the top bit. Why? Definitely, I'll probably redo the mo as well. I don't understand why. I've cut those hairs. They should not be there. So we got this. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna come back into the top. Um, let's go GG. Actually, let's grab both sides. Here we go, GG. GG. There we go. So now we're kind of just rounding that off. That's not too bad. Let's slightly clean that up. I have Ryzen 3900X, 12 core of ishness. There we go, that one. 12 cores. So yes, yeah, the 3900X. Okay, that seems to have probably cleaned that up. I reckon I could probably do some more with this hair this is slightly annoying me. What I might do is I'm going to deselect that edge loop. And we'll see if it comes into there now. Um, oh, mm. So let's come back into our particles. I'm going to delete the edit. And let's go into particles and then back into object mode. No, you're still a jerk. Why? Ah, I know why. So let's select that edge loop, remove. And then if we select, now we've got that. Okay, there we go. Let's delete that. Oops, let's get that. Let's select all that. Control 
I to invert our selection and remove everything that we don't want. Get staffed. That one and that one. Remove. Now let's have a look what happens. There we go. Now we've got that wonderful line of where the hair is actually going. I reckon though, just in case we get a shot of the back of the head, let's kind of maybe just grab this edge loop in here. Uh, blender, C, I'm pressing C. Okay, fine, I'll do it manually. And we'll assign that. And there we go, so that all that short hair's come down some more. Uh, so, so why I haven't upgraded yet to the 2080 Ti is because finance, is a slight problem, but I valued the CPU over the GPU um, purely for the fact is the CPU, I was doing a lot of fluid simulations, I was doing um, soft body stuff, and that wasn't using GPU processing, it was using CPU. Unfortunately, I found out that when I'm um, simulating water or hair or fur or something it all goes off the speed of one cpu so technically i should have got a faster cpu but look it's a trade-off um you know now i can looks like you know i can do streaming i can do this i can do recording you know i can do a lot more things with the cpu i do have intentions of getting dual 2080 ti's um but i'll you know I'll probably just wait a little bit longer for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so you know what? I'm fairly happy with that. Let's just quickly work on the beard. I just want to fluff it out a little bit. Um, beard. And let's go into particle edit. Let's make sure we've got grooming turned on. Mm, don't do that. Okay, so we will maybe just do this something like that and then I know that the beards the beard will go straight down so if I come into front view we can see that it's kind of like that and then let's make it all I'm gonna give it a bit of a puff strength is a little bit too high let's now go into rendered view go into object mode <laughs> wait for the 3080 yeah, i know but then at what point when do you stop waiting as well if i buy a card from overseas if it's under a thousand dollars australian which is i think about 750 us i don't have to pay import tax so now it starts getting very yuck if you know what i mean you know what i'm actually fairly happy with that save it let's jump over onto another character bum, 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 bum. so this is me originally doing um hair um what did i just say yeah this is originally originally using the hair tool but the problem is is for instance i'll show you if i do an explosive well that's a bad example because it did stuff um let's go like a tight o you can see the Mo is not actually moving. Now I haven't optimized these uh, meshes, like uh, in terms of texture wise, I probably do want to replace a little bit. No, no, it's... Uh, ooh. That is interesting if that's what the GPU is going to be like. Because uh, obviously with Blender, you want to go for the cuter cores, especially if you're using cycles. Um, when I made Terraformer, which is the short film that I did in 10 days, and I pretty much live streamed the whole process, um, I did that in cycles, stupidly enough. So I had 10 days to make an animated short film, 140 of those hours was rendering. Stupid. I should have used Eevee. So that's why this time I'm at the moment... I'm going to be using Eevee to render it all. 
Um, let me just come down. I'll just show you as well. So if we come down into here, um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> which one was that? So you can see that, yeah, those, the hair isn't moving, which really stuffs me up. All right. So let's go back. Uh, where are we? So much work deleted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go into now. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. Let's go, let's go backwards. Let's work backwards. So I am now lucky enough. All right. Okay. Where are we? I'm trying to find a face. So this is him doing lines for the short film. Oh my goodness. How sick is that? So I'm just trying to find something where he's almost got front on. Oops. <laughs> so that's not too bad. So he's got a very definition, definite, definite mo. Um, and we can see that he's kind of going through here and kind of fluffing around there. Yeah. Cool beans. All right. What I might just do is let's bring up snip and tool. Oh, by the way, just so you all know today is my 400th video here on YouTube. So thank you very much for stopping by. 400 videos. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of work. Just saying. Um, <laughs> no, go away. Um, uh, don't save. Control shift H. Convert mesh ribbons to curve. Ooh. Yeah, but then they're curves. Let's, you know what? Okay, I'll do this. Don't save. Let's just maybe... My... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's crazy. The system went down of you, but not hanging. Ha oh. <laughs> Convert. How did this? Your videos are great. Thank you very much, official Lou Hopkins. <laughs> um, and as well, I hit fifteen thousand subscribers, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. Um, I'm just gonna move move these hairs. I'm just going to hold control and just snap it away. There we go. Put that there and I'll come back to it. Um, so hang on. What was I saying? So 1500 subscribers. I hit like a million views not long ago, which is pretty freaking sick. I was pretty chuffed with that. Um, what else is there? I don't know. That's pretty much all the good things that have happened so far. Um, probably for this one, I will go control shift D P separate by selection. And then let's select the other one. There we go. Armature. This will be uh, CC skull cap. And then let's now just edit some of this mesh. I'm going to delete. Oops, let's come into here. CC delete vertices. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Is that too high? Let's have a quick look. I don't think it's too... He's wearing a beanie, isn't he? Dang it, he's wearing a beanie. Uh, how am I going to bring this down? Okay, delete that. Let's now come back in here. Sorry, I'm going to try and quickly now do this. Let's go select. Let's grab all this. Like so side view C let's delete all that and as well you let's give him some sideburns see that there mm, what what's happening here with his ear 
Let's maybe just go like that. I think that is a problem. I don't like that, but we will fix that. So let's now just go shift D P separate by selection coming to here. And this would be CC underscore skull cup. Uh -huh. Um, -da 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 -da. I figured out how to do this. Yep. Been trying to make digi doubles in blender and it's driven me crazy. What's digi doubles? What are you going to use animation? My plan was to use Unreal. But <laughs> I don't know what Digi Doubles are. Um, I plan on animating this all in Blender. Um, I will be using Reillusion's facial motion capture to capture all the motion of the face, which is facial motion capture. Uh, better than <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, will you do? Will you make a woman or a girl hair? Not in this short film. I couldn't find a female voiceover. So I've um, converted the character to male because luckily enough, I don't reference Ruby as a she. So um, I've just uh, made up another voice for it. Digital doubles for VFX. I don't know. Let me just do a quick Google. Um, Digi doubles VFX. Digital doubles, about digital doubles. Let's have a look. Ooh. Right. Ah, no. Psh. No, 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 stop that. So with character creator, you can actually get a picture of someone's face and kind of apply it to the head. Um, and with some tweaking, you can get some decent results. But I mean, these characters are from there. I'm not going for a hyper-realistic um, scenario. Um, so it, it should serve me well. Now let's, let's start fixing this up. Okay. Like, so, um, I might, might actually delete these two vertices from here. What I'm going to do is G, let's go grab these and go GG down GG. And we kind of want to have that curve where it comes in. So especially kind of like with my hair, you can see that it comes in and then comes back around. So, I mean, most people have that. It's not just like, <laughs> so that, um, that's why I'm putting in that slight curve in here. And we can see that line through there, which is the curve. And then what we can do is we can pretty much delete all those vertices here. And you delete vertices. Yeah. Let's maybe undo that and we'll grab all these GG, bring them right down. Maybe bring these up a bit. Actually, what we'll do is maybe bring that one back, bring that one back like so. And we'll bring these two down a smidgen. Now I'm not too concerned that it's going into the skull. Thank you very much. Not too concerned that it's going into the skull um, because obviously hair comes out. Um, not about, yeah, I haven't really done much with VFX. You know, there's, there are things that I've, oh, okay, close. You know, there's things that I've always wanted to do VFX wise, but it's kind of like, I'm trying to pick my discipline. I'm still trying to pick it. <laughs> um, but I mean, I'm getting there, you know, I'm just trying to make short films you know that's always been my passion and that's what i'll follow um once you know things start falling more into place you know it's always you know when you get the next thing or when you get the next thing it'll you know it'll it'll just slowly progress um but i am getting there with stuff so let's go into our particles new particle oh i gotta redo the material that's fine hair probably not four meters long Let's maybe go 0.1. Nah, man, I think it's a bit too long. 0 0.7, oh, 0 0.075. I think that should be good. And then from here, we can kind of start splitting it up. Hair dynamics, yes. Um, I don't have a material yet for hair. But what I will do, is let's go file, append. So I'm gonna bring the file across. Isaac, character Isaac, material, beard, 
bring that across and then I'm just going to put I'm just going to put brown here for now what? Oh, okay let's add in a new material beard, there we go back into particle settings and now I can go back into beard skull cap, show emitter no I don't want to see the emitter Beast blind, sure. Bump that up to five. Viewport display. Children interpolate. What does that look like? Bob Ross. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right. Now this, oh, this is going to be interesting. How am I? Oh, because I kind of, let's select everything. Control A, apply the scale. Now I haven't done this before. Kink, type, wavy. Okay. Okay, 0.05. What the heck are Botham's going on? All right, definitely not that. Frequency, well, that's weird. Control Z on that puppy. Hmm. Might have to come back to that. I'm not sure about using the kink, but that's fine. Let's just quickly now particle edit and let's just start, start particle, okay. So where is our split? Probably about here-ish, 100% please. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. Here we go. And so we're definitely... All right. Particle edit uh, strength, there we go, okay. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It's through the ears, but that's fine. I'm not too concerned. So I'm just trying to brush it around the ear as if, you know, you're kind of doing that. Um, whoa, geez, I missed a few messages. Uh, hello, ladies hair, like you did. For hair, I make curves in VR program called Gravity Sketch for VR. Okay. That's interesting. I would have to check that out. I got an Oculus Rift. It's looking good. I do want to make sure it films live action. Um, but I want to be able to work with people around the world. Figure the combination of green screen. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. That one's... It could make it easier remotely. It's going to be a challenge if you're going to have, like, actors acting around the world in front of greens yes that's going to be a challenge um i really don't think you should be creating skull caps how come is the question the the reason why i created a skull cap was because i wanted to change the geometry of the head uh publish asia yes it will go up there's nothing dodgy in this stream the last stream that we did on oh no, last Wednesday didn't get published straight away. And that was because I was a little bit of nudity in there. <laughs> Not from me. <laughs> um, but using character creator, I just, yeah, I had to edit that video a little bit. Cool beans. Let's just check it out. See what it looks like in object mode. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I gotta make the hair a bit more craziness, puff and then yeah we've got to sweep it back like I've got there so I'm just going to bump that down all the way kind of a need to be able to kind of grab one or two of these strands to really whoops uh, puff that up whoa 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 add buddy add Um, let's fix that area there because that's looking a bit rough as guts. 
what am I doing? Object mode. That looks terrible. That looks terrible there. So we gotta re we gotta rethink about that. So let's go particle edit. Let's maybe go puff. What's the time? 1030. Okay, we're getting there slowly. So I've got to re kind of think this. Um, and I think that's because of the children. So if I just go into object mode, I'm just gonna like kind of test stuff now. So we've got that line in there. Definitely I'm gonna be painting the skull cap just to give it a bit of a dark um, tinge to it. Hair is obviously going to be blonde. Actually, mine actually need to be longer. So let's go maybe into particle edit, and we'll go. No, not smooth. We want to. We want to grow. Is that grow? Lengthen. Oops! Far out. Grow. All right, there we go. And now we can kind of move that around. All right. And let's go now puff it up right in the center there. Oh, jeez, it's too much. <laughs> there we go. Ah, dang it, other way. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can kind of groom that back around all right how's that looking semi oh that's i don't like that definitely there needs to be what's the spiral do Ooh, no curly no so that bit there's no good i really need to come in there and really go puff So this in here, these vertices in here, really, oh, actually, maybe I can just come in and add some more just along that edge, because that's going to be our part. Oh. Okay. Let's maybe just add, nope, let's lengthen just these bits here. Oh, random. Ah, suck. Dang it. That's slightly looking better. Let's come in. Oh, let's maybe do an F12. And I'm going to come in like this. Shift A. Let's add in a <gasps> camera. G. G. F12. Let's just have a look. What? Please don't be cycles. Ooh, that's ugly. <laughs> that is so ugly. Nothing. F12. That is happening because I must have some sort of clumping or something. Let's let's now probably. Oh, right. Radio. Okay. Let's actually no. I want a little bit of clumping shape. that kind of shape not that kind of shape <laughs> what's this going to do I kind of give just a little bit of sun it's kind of just making the hair a little bit crazier which is kind of like what we're after randomize no Let's not randomize, maybe just a little bit. Size, can we? 
no, that's just silly. So let's just go one threshold. I don't know what that's doing. Did I break it? Hmm. Let's maybe jump over into display amount and we'll go into a hundred so we can actually see more. Gee, that looks terrible. Okay, we'll fix that. Oh, no, 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 let's, sorry, let's go back to the I had a problem yesterday, I cut all the hair off and then added this. Mmm. <laughs> I am thinking about that, Luke. I'm thinking about going that way. Andrew D. Andrew! Oh my goodness! Uh, <laughs> I I believe it's Andrew D. Um, just hang on, hang on, hang on. Give me a sec. Just checking something out real quick. I believe so. So Andrew D is the creator of Extreme PBR Combo, which is the material library, which I absolutely love. <laughs> uh, so this short film, probably on YouTube when it comes out, the one that I created in 10 days, um, a couple of months ago is called Terraformer. That'll be somewhere on the channel. You have to remember I made it in 10 days. So, and that's also working full time, family, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I did. There's a lot of things I did wrong. Um, a lot of things that could be better, but with the time restrictions. <laughs> um, also, parting tab helped me in that regard too. Parting tab? What? What are you talking about? <gasps> parting tab. Oh, interesting. All right. Okay more stuff to play with um i kind of want to can i slice this up to have more maybe eight dang it quality steps eight no that's rendering human hair is 100k yeah so that's why i'll probably be definitely painting that on i think i think the numbers i gotta add more in there so let's if we come into particle edit let's maybe go into add Let's just, I'm just going to paint it on there a little bit more right into there. I think I actually might have to come and do this again. Like this, this now is all trial and error. Trying to get what works. Oops, sorry, I got a hundred. Whoa. And I mean, that's, you know, that's part of the fun with the blender is thank you very much for the follow guys. That is all part of the, the whole jazz, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you want to call it. Okay. But I am thinking I might clump a lot of the hairs together as well. Kind of just making them look a little bit um, dirty and greasier. So obviously at the moment we are focusing this part here. Oh gosh, what's that going to look like? What the heck is that? To me, it's the source, I reckon. Verts? What is verts? Oh, go back, go back. Face. It just doesn't seem to be particles per face. Hmm. Yeah, I will be painting it, but it just, it looks rubbish. It almost, it almost looks like moss. <laughs> Actually, it almost does look a little bit mossish. <laughs> so, 
sorry, I'm just okay. I'm just trying to trying to think how am I going to go about approaching this? Do I maybe come back into edit mode, put in maybe like an extra one or two edge loops just along here? Because I mean, we need a lot of detail in there. Let's, I'm just going to save this quickly. Let's go delete edit. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to go into particle edit. Let's go into edit mode. And if I do control B and then let's kind of maybe just kind of split it up like that. Will that then create a whole bunch of particles through there? What is regrow? Hmm. Um, let's bump this up to point one to make the hair a little bit longer and then we can always cut it back. So yeah, sorry. Yes. Vertexes. Sorry. Uh, while we're here, let's go into shading. Okay. So this tutorial is from the thumbnail with Chewbacca in it. That's <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Netwinder. Um, yeah, there, if you do EV hair tutorial, this setup is from the one with the Chewbacca um, logo. But, so I'm gonna make this a kind of a sandy color. Oof. I have to work on the colors a little bit later. Cause that is horrendous. <laughs> Let's not. Let's go a little bit darker. Okay. All right, what else? We'll fix that up later. I reckon I've got too many hairs coming out. What I maybe need to do is bump this up to 2000 and bring back the children to 50. I think maybe, maybe that's what the problem is. I'm just going to two and a half. Let's just go two and a half thousand. Whatevs. I'm just streaming at the same time. Okay. <laughs> so maybe that's what it is. Okay, now let's go back into layout mode. Let's quickly do this. Let's, whoops, not texture paint. Let's kind of quickly strength. Let's go into full part. So here-ish, and we'll bring that over. Go on, over there, over there, over there. All right, and then we'll grab that. There we go. I just want to grab those hairs and push that over. Grab those hairs and push that over. I'm going to puff. Let's puff it up a little bit. I reckon I reckon I gotta puff it up to bring these these hairs kind of more straight up. And then from the top here, let's bring it down, but not pull it just kind of more push it in so I'm going to bring the strength down a little bit so something like that and then let's kind of push these around a smidgen that's like oh actually that's not too bad Okay, cool. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. And then we'll just come back and probably trim the hairs down the back here. Moment of truth. Are we getting there? I wouldn't say that's perfect by a long shot. But I will bring this down to 25 hairs. Yeah, that's a lot better. So I need I need the curves to be have more geometry. Segments. You suck. Cause it is D 
Dang it. I'm going to go back and do it again. All right. Let's go back. Delete hair. Let's go maybe uh, 12 segments. And let's go now into particle edit. Okay. I'm really hyped. I, to tell you the truth, even though I probably should, because I am a tutorial channel, I probably should pay more attention to all the features that are coming out. But yeah, no, I don't really look at the features. Um, it actually took me a while to jump over to 2.8. Um, I did try it and I hated it. Just the whole fact that all my muscle memory that I had was gone. You know, like, um, control N was to flip the normals. Now it's a new file. What? I lost a little bit of work a few times doing that. Um, but I mean, eventually, obviously I knew moving forward, especially being a tutorial channel, I had to jump ship over to 2.8. Um, you know what? Am I glad that I went over to 2.8? You know, you've got Eevee now. Um, but to tell you the truth, I actually really haven't used Eevee that much. Obviously now I'm really trying to, with this short film, you know, I'm trying to be a little bit smarter with rendering. So, you know, I don't want to, I could now, I don't have a time restriction. Well, actually my time restrictions, I think end of June. Um, but it's kind of, let's just undo that. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I was saying. Okay. That's not too bad. Probably cut off the mullet around the back. Why does this still look like crud? I put 12 segments in and it looks like it's got like three, one, two, three. What? Why? Uh, 10. No, no blender. Don't die on me. Oh. <laughs> sorry, Blender. I'm sorry. Go back. Go back to two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for final render. Yeah, okay. So maybe for the final render, we'll bump that up. But looking at it, it's not too bad. We've got a bit of clumpiness here. Um, yeah, okay, let's go back to zero on that one. Hmm. That's somewhat annoying about this section in here. Oh, even this section in here. What's going on there? Uh, let's go back to particle edit. Let's just give it a little bit more grooming. I don't even know what I was saying. Where are we? How long, how long take it for you to learn the basics of Blender? this is this is the question you need to ask yourself what do you want to learn in blender do you want to be the knowledge of everything that's going to take a lot of time if you focus on one little aspect so for instance i wanted to make spaceships everyone wants to make spaceships so i focused on learning hard surface modeling and then from there obviously you know i'm able to create um, you know, like furniture and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's how I started off. And then you start looking at things, um, in real life. How would you model it? Where are the vertexes? Blah, 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 blah. Do not do motion tracking. <laughs> Cause once you learn motion tracking, you look at everything. What can be a, a tracking point? It is the worst. Uh, <laughs> And for those of you who know about um, motion tracking, you will understand that now you look in real life, everything, what can be tracked. Um, animation wise, look, I'm not the best animator by far, um, but it's kind of, I had the motivation to just, you know, kind of like go and just do it. 
And that's and that's the key thing is just you've got to do it. You can't go, oh, how long? You're going to waste time. You just go in. You know what? Your first render sucks. Big whoop. First render. That's the key word. It's your first render. You are not going to be perfect on your first time. You need to practice. You need to work it. You need to, um, you know, do things and kind of learn from your mistakes, which, you know, look, make an air. Um, see, Seb knows, you know, you're gonna break stuff. Oh my goodness. You're going to break stuff, but you, you know, you learn from those mistakes. Character creation. I have no intention of doing character creation. Hence why I bought a character creator software. Um, at the moment I'm learning hair. I've tried to do character creation several times. Um, I think CG, I learned from CG Cookie in the very early days. I think when it was still called, I think it's still called CG Cookie. Um, but you know, I very much looked up, looked up to Jonathan Williamson. You know, whenever he did something, I was like, oh my goodness, I want to, you know, I want to be like that guy. Um, obviously, you know, he doesn't do tutorials anymore, which kind of sucks, but you know, that's his choice. Da -da 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 -da. Um, if you try learning all, you'll be overwhelmed and likely quit. Exactly. So I started with Blender in 2001. Um, and obviously I want to model a car, but the, I couldn't find the set mesh to smooth option. And I'm talking about Blender 2.4 and I just went, mm, I quit. I just couldn't do it. I subsurfaced the six and it looked terrible. I kind of wish I tried to actually find those answers, not to be lazy. You know, I could have been using Blender now for 20 years, but instead I've only been using it for three or four. So that's a bit of a regret. Um, not sticking to it. Uh, I want to learn more, but my PC is poo poo. Well, use that to an advantage. Um, you know, what I ended up doing, if we just jump over into here, um, adventures of adventures, adventures of oh, adventurers. Maybe it might come up. Adventure of Adventurers. There we go. This is a 2D short film that I created. And you're, you know, why can't you do something like this? This is just literally, you know, um, planes on top of each other and then kind of rigged it and put it together. This one uh, animated short film festival here in Canberra. 10,000 hours to be a master. 10,000, but you're not trying to be a master. You're just trying to do something. I think the rule is like a hundred hours. Actually, it might not even be a hundred hours. I think it might be less, but that's to, you know, to learn the basics and actually get you going. Um, there's a really good Ted talk on, I think it's like the hundred hour thing where the dude's learning to play ukulele. I think. And, you know, it's all about his progress on picking up a ukulele and it's not watching a tutorial. That doesn't count. It's actually practicing. That's the start of your 100 hours. Be a master, sure. Go 10,000 hours. We don't have 10,000 hours a day. I've got one to two hours a night, if I'm lucky. 365 days a year. It's actually be pretty close to 365 days a year. That's going to be, you know, decades into the future. Yeah, about 30 decades. I don't have that much time. So that's why you got to kind of focus on one thing. And then once you're satisfied, then start moving on to the next. Uh, force yourself to put yourself in the seat. So Andrew Price, I, you know, I think he said it best when he learned to draw. He set up his, every day he set up his workstation, you know, with the lighting and all that. Um, and then what... That was his goal was just to set up his light station and his pad and all that. And he figured that since he got, the, since he got there, he might as well draw something. And that's how he, um, started drawing. I mean, he's not doing realistic drawings. He's doing character, caricatures. Um, and you know, they're turning out pretty good. Uh, what about AI? What about AI? 
Um, how to co compose a scene for an animation. Yeah, pretty much the same you'll do for a still, but obviously, you know, you got to think about cameras, moving cameras, you're going to have moving cameras, where are the actors going to go? You kind of just, whatever looks good. Uh, I mean, stage creation. So this is, actually, I'll bring up what my scene looks like. Mm, garage, I think it is. Let's have a look. I think this is the scene. And so it is literally, yep, this is the scene. So let me just quickly turn this on. Green screen, green cup. <laughs> and so here I've kind of built a mechanics workshop that's set in the future. Let me just turn this on. Actually, let me turn that on. Select the camera, turn that on, press zero. And then, you know, for the past couple of, you know, in the earlier streams, we were kind of just building this. You can see there's a um, air compressor, there's the hose. And obviously, you know, there's there's bits that are unfinished, but this is gonna be, the fridge is longer than I think. Um, this is the scene that we're gonna have. And obviously I don't need to model all this. I've only modeled this side because I know that with a 180 degree in filmmaking, everything's, you're not gonna see this side of the wall, even though I did put in some pipes, air conditioners, some decals in here, but that's kind of maybe just to help light reflection. I love this roller door. I was really chuffed with that. Um, the couch is part of the short film where one of the characters points over to it. So that's pretty cool. Um, but obviously I've got to fill more stuff in, but obviously once I get the characters in, blah, 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 you know, you just kind of expand on it. No, no, I started Blender. I started Blender for creating templates. Love the thing. Yeah, it's your own world. Look, I built my own world. It's a sci-fi workshop with these buildings. <laughs> this here is a part of an engine from another model. <laughs> no, actually, no. I think this is a rocket launcher, this building. Is it a rocket launcher? I think it might be a rocket launcher. I just scaled it up and hey, look, it's a building. <laughs> um, and so yeah, that's that's the world building. Obviously, once I get the characters in, it'll be a different story because then I got to change the lighting, you know, to make sure it's, um, you know, it looks nice. Oh my goodness. Where are we at? Okay, so that hair. You know what? Let's just move on <laughs> a little bit. I'm going to create another vertex group facial hair oh i've already done that oh aren't you a clever boy let's go select Ooh. ow whoa what did you do here you idiot select wow okay i butchered this i didn't realize i butchered it so the way i do mouths and select around that i'll select like the lip and then hide that, control L, and then hide the inside of the mouth. So I've got the lip area. And so we know from the reference picture that he's got a fat mo, and it's a long mo as well. So let's maybe grab um, this edge loop, this edge loop. It is a bit of a thin mo as well. Oh, wow. Well. And so now I'm gonna press C and middle mouse button and deselect all that. There we go. Let's get rid of this section. And we can see that it comes around his face. And then we've got a bit here and sometimes he's got it around the chin, but I think we might just stick with kind of this area here. So let's go into C and I'm gonna select probably that there. Let's grab that. Let's get rid of that. Is that all the same? That's about right. So from here, we're gonna get facial hair, assign. I'm gonna go control I to invert our selection and remove all facial hair. So that now if I double tap and I go select. Ah, that's why. Let's just undo all that. Let's go into um, vertices. So press one, assign control I to invert that and then we click remove and then if I double tap 
I go select. There we go. So that's where all the facial hair is going to be. Come over into particle setting. Oh yeah, that's why. New particles, hair. This is going to be maybe 0 0.002. So very short. Let's come down into vertex groups and this one will be facial hair. And then we can see that it's clumped here. I think we're a bit too far off to the side. So maybe let's select these two in there, come into the vertex groups. Let's remove that one. I think, yeah, I think I'm still too, whoop, still too far over. Howdy, welcome. And so let's grab this section, probably this section. Let's go like that remove and then if we go into object mode we can see that we've got yeah it's not too bad i think we can remove this bottom line here as well remove let's go here remove and there we go so now we've got that kind of fluff happening there um particle particle system speaking of rocket launches have you seen the app in burgo from I think I did. I think I, I have seen something about that. Um, it did pop up somewhere. All right, let's have a look. So I don't like this vertice and this vertice. So let's get rid of them. Remove. See, and this is the problem. This is why I made a skull cap. And I think I'm just going to have to do it for the face as well is that's not rounded that's just like harsh oh gosh okay um where was my material here we go oh yeah let's add in a new material and this one will be our beard which will be a dirty blonde which obviously i'll fix up a little bit later but we've kind of just getting the pizzazz look that is really green. But yeah, I like the Mo. I think the Mo's good. This bit here is horrendous. Let's go like that and we'll go remove. Yeah. So yeah, we'll come back to that. I think that's a, I think that's a future markers problem. Let's just go save on that. What's the time? Eleven o'clock. So this is video 400. Mm, another 100 to go to 500. <laughs> Funny that. Um, so I might leave it there for tonight. I will try and finish this off sometime during the week. Um, I will probably just stream it over on Twitch because I don't want to junk up the YouTube channel and you guys get too many notifications and stuff like this. Tomorrow is going to be a very simple tutorial on how to rig a leg. So with kind of like the IK or the FK, or whatever. So you just move the leg and it goes into the right position, however you want it. Um, there's tutorials all about doing the whole body, this, that, and other. But if you want to learn that specific bit, that'll be on tomorrow because I'm going to go do it now. Um, I will be live streaming again on Sunday, probably two hours, whatever time it is now, minus two hours. I now have the voice over for Ian Hubert's character, which he sent to me about 15 minutes before this stream started. Boom, boom. <laughs> I was, I was skipping. I was so chuffed. Um, and now, yeah, I got to send the screenshots over to Isaac Butterfield and hopefully he kind of gets that. <laughs> uh, what else? And so that's pretty much probably Sunday. Well, hopefully we've got all the characters all set up, start bringing in the facial animations. Um, might even do motion capture with the rift. Um, I do have our sensors from cat loco. However, I was on to the support today and my waist one is broken. So they're going to send me out a new one. So hopefully it'll be here within a week. I don't know. 
Um, so they, these ones here, what they do is they're a sensor that sit on your belt and your ankles. And then so you've got kind of six points of motion tracking using a VR headset. Mm, we'll see. Um, hopefully before the end of financial year, we have the thing, a perception neuron motion capture suit. We'll see. Brian, welcome. I'm just finishing up. Um, we have a perception neutron motion capture suit. Um, so that means what I'll be doing is getting my character creator characters, putting them into iClone, putting in the facial animation and the motion capture within iClone, then exporting it and putting it into Blender. Then I can fine tune any animations that need to be done. I think that's about it. But we've got about five, six weeks before the deadline of this short film. So I've got a bit of work ahead of me now. So I've got to start pushing it through. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you can support the channel, share the channel around because I'm trying to hit 25,000 before the end of the year. That'll be a milestone, milestone. That is a milestone for me. Why? I don't know. I've just set 25,000. And then hopefully by the end of next year, we hit 100K. That's the goal. One can dream. And I'm dreaming high.